Hi everyone, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Maple University. Today we have Val Barra, and I believe this is a pre-production copy of the game, which I picked up from Essence Spiel 2022 from Studio H. Yes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give you an overview of this card smart game and review. Sorry, a review there, but there you go. Mm -hmm. Overview first. Yes. So think of those familiar with the classics, I think. Think of this as a light citadels. For those who aren't, I'll explain. What is the so, theme? So, clan members. We're all clan members, different clans. And we're trying to expand the land. Yes, and we've got all these uh, lands that we're going out to get into our side. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I would say uh, you can think of this game maybe as a bit of a, a light citadels for those who are familiar with the, the classics. Uh, if not, I'll explain. So, each player has a deck of cards that ranges in number between 1 and 12, and all the decks are identical. And you held it secretly. We have uh, a number of cards, these are the, the land cards, equal to the number of players in the game. So, there's only two of us here, but this is set up for four players. Uh, these are the ones that we're bidding to try to get this round. These are the ones that we'll be bidding to try to get next, next round. round. So we can see what's coming. And see what's coming. So each player chooses a card to play simultaneously. Then we reveal. <laughs> and then we resolve from low to high in mm. terms of number. And yes. I didn't even have to wait for an example to show that uh, there's different sequences on the backs of all of these cards. And this breaks the tie. Essentially, it's a randomizer for the tie break. I am this clan, and you are this clan. So you go first so in I this guess. case. Okay. And then in the turn order, we would resolve the effect on our card. If you play after your neighbors this round, gain five. So you don't gain five. I don't gain in five. In this case. You would gain five. I could gain five later after your turn. But I would get first choice of the cards from the current row, and I would score them immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of these are set collectors of different types. So if I get the forest, I just get the points printed on it. If I get the mountain, I would get 10 points for my second mountain, 20 points for my fourth. Uh, this one here, the meadow, I think it is. Yes. You get one point for every meadow owned by you and each of your neighbors when you play it. So you're progressively getting these points rather than scoring them all at the end. Uh, and there's a couple of other versions. This one's based on the card you play. So if you play a low card, you don't get as many points. Uh, and so forth. Yep, like two per this type of yep. card that you have. Yep. And then we, we discard the card we've played. We draw another one back into hand. And you'll never play this one again because across the whole game, it's a nine round game. You'll play nine of your 12 cards. Unless and each one will only be played once. Unless there's unless a card. Unless you play the one. Yeah, that unless you play it. Back. Take a character back from your discard pile to your hand. Yep. That's really the core of the game. Whoever gets the most points over those nine rounds mm -hmm. will be the winner. What do you think? I think it's neat. It is neat. I think it is. It's really nicely balanced, I think. Um, like the, the low numbers, they are weaker actions or they're really situational. The high numbers, like the highest number here, the 12, lets you double the points you get in that round from your card. But of course, you're going to get last choice of cards. So you've got to pick the right round to make that work for you. And it's neat that I am so glad that you can plan ahead a little bit by seeing the cards for the next round. Yep. There are also some which let you swap cards mm -hmm. or move cards in and out. It's really neat. The artwork is gorgeous. So some of these, look at this, and some of the actions, all players with a fighter in hand may refill to gain one. Another play of your choice gains two. If you play before your neighbors, um, gains three, and so on gains two for each neighbors who played an odd initiative value. You can like gamble that. Again, three per forest in your realm, so you probably want to wait until you have lots of forests and so on. So the stealing as well, but there's not a lot of take that. I say, I think the comparison with Citadel. <coughs> the comparison with Citadels, it's essentially the difference with Citadels is the set collection is a bit easier, and 
you've got your own personal deck of these cards mm -hmm. instead of everyone drafting. Yeah. And that's always what slows down a game of Citadels. So, you know, this is the, this is, I would, if I wanted to work someone up to Citadels, I would play this one first. And this is, yeah, this is, this plays two to four players. Sorry, two to five two to players. Five. And this is really simple. You can just bring it to our meetup group on Wednesday fortnight yep. in the city. And the, it's not really that, it's this really simple, simple rules. Just the, the one that adds more complication is the interaction with other players and see what other players have, see what you want to have, and so on. Yeah, I think it's a great little filler. Yeah. Um, it is, you know, it's not, not hugely innovative, but everything I've put together here works really well together. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that annoys me is they've got these uh, points tokens that go face down, One of, you know, the small world style. Mm -hmm. One of my least favorite things. <laughs> well, you just complain at Heron. Yes. No, I'm kidding. No, that's all right. You are allowed to complain. So this is, uh, yeah, um, I guess you can just avoid for, you know, the munchkin type of, what's Kingmaker? True. Yeah. So you don't know how many people have got points, how many, everyone's got points. So I think that's, it's actually probably necessary in a way. If you're counting really carefully, you, you can, can add it uh, up yeah. anyway. Yeah. That's it. But no, I, I, I like it. These sets, they're all different enough. Um, multiple players in there going for mm. different things. Keep the, you know, you've got those choices to keep the valuable mm. ones that are really starting to stack up mm. away from people. Yeah, it's good. Really easy fillers, really easy to get to the table, easy rules. Most of the rules are probably on the action cards, on your own clan cards. And that's it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy that. I think this is releasing soon. I don't know exactly when that's going to be by Studio H. So keep keep your eyes on it. So get it if you like this sort of game. Um, highly recommend it. Yes. If you find this useful as well, it will be really helpful. Please, if you can, hit the like button and subscribe to us if you haven't already done so. I'm also on Instagram. Find me there as well. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Yep. Now I, now I have to go and move some dirt around the garden. Good thing I've got a val valbara. <laughs> that means she likes it. No, I don't. That means like it's boring. I'm kidding. It's always so good. you went to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> no, I didn't. It's lullaby me. It's I like it. It's oh so good. La 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 la. Bye. Bye.